Education has been slow to recognize the new technology tools available on the internet and how they will change the way we teach and how students will learn. Connectivism is when learning occurs as part of a social network. That network is made possible through various tools of technology on the internet. Daniel Pink, author of A Whole New Mind, reminds us we are now in a conceptual age where high concept, high touch professions have a need for workers to be creators and empathizers. We will need creative thinkers who can motivate and teach themselves using the internet and its tools for research, connecting to information and people who can see a big picture and collaborate with their peers to invent, construct, and create the new products, inventions, and technologies in the 21st century and beyond. If you are listening and watching your children, your students, can you hear what they're saying? 81% have email accounts. 75% use IMs. 97% believe technology is not only very important, it is vital. The average teen is usually using technology media 6.5 hours daily outside of school. And by the time they graduate, they will have spent 11,000 hours in school and 15,000 hours watching TV. 69% of teens who use the internet are not just consumers, they are content creators. There are 114 million blogs on the internet and 1 million posts each day to a blog. Are you creating blogs for your students? There are 1,000 podcasts and subscribers are growing at a rate of 20% per month. Are you allowing them to create podcasts? Read and write. Web tools have relevance to state and local core content curriculum standards. Are you allowing them to create wikis for collaborative writing and research? Student-created videos offer one of the most creative pathways for student involvement in project-based learning. Are you letting them make videos? Currently, YouTube receives a billion videos each day and a trillion views each day. Learners must not only have ownership of the learning or the problem-solving process, but the problem itself. Learning is more effective when a student is actively engaged in the learning process rather than attempting to receive knowledge passively. So let them use what they're already familiar with. Unblock the internet and teach them to use it properly.